named several defendants, including Louis Bristol, Carpinteria Community Church, and the Presbytery of Santa Barbara. Now, the victims claim the church ignored their complaints against Bristol in order to protect its own reputation. Today, we reached out to Bristol and church leaders, but they didn't want to talk. Are you Louis Bristol? Louis Bristol is currently working at the Goodwill in downtown Santa Barbara. But when News Channel 3 confronted him about the lawsuit, he didn't want to talk. Oh, hi, I'm Elise with KEYT. Can I talk to you about outside? No, you're not allowed to be back here, unfortunately. Okay, can I talk to you outside about the lawsuit? Uh, I'm, I'm on the job right now. Okay. Do you get a lunch break? Is there a time we can come back? Pardon me? Can you close the door? There were reports of what he was doing back in 2004 and 2005 that unfortunately were not acted on by church leadership. Santa Barbara attorney Tim Hale is representing three women who claim Carpinteria Community Church could have prevented Bristol from sexually abusing them. In the lawsuit, the women say church leaders failed to report their complaints to law enforcement. When leaders of the Presbyterian Church have spoken publicly, they have said the right things but actions speak louder than words. Bristol worked for the church for eight years. One of the girls did speak out during a youth group meeting at that, at that time, and that was what eventually brought law enforcement in. Bristol was convicted in 2013 of having sex with a 14 and 16 year old. He spent one year in jail and is now a registered sex offender. Okay, is there a time that... I know, but is there a time that we can talk to you? Okay. Carpinteria Community Church refused our request for an interview, but the church issued a statement saying in part that when church leaders first learned about Bristol's behavior in February 2013, he was fired. The attorney for the victim says he believes there may be even more victims out there. Now, the church said it has fully cooperated with investigators and will continue to do so. Live in Carpinteria, Elise Martinez, News Channel 3. All right, Elise, thanks for that report tonight. Governor Jerry Brown is.